I started to consider maybe breaking out of my introverted shell and putting myself out there. Challenge accepted. So I started an experiment. I joined like six or seven dating apps, spent hours upon hours scrolling and swiping, trying to find my Nina Mosley. Now I'll spare you the stress and the mental drainage of this experience, but at the end of it all, I only matched with a few women. They were nice enough, but I didn't really feel a connection with any of them. With one, I felt like I was talking to a brick wall. Another one was so shy that the conversation was jagged and awkward. One never got past the chat conversation and I forgot about it. And then months later at a party, I reintroduced myself as if we had never met. I deserve that. So what did I take away from this experience? Dating will bring all of your insecurities to the forefront. I'm hopeless and awkward and desperate for love. Does she like me? Is she seeing anybody else? Does she like me more than I like her? Do I like her more than she likes me? I'm not really feeling it. How do I let her down without hurting her feelings? I also learned that I'm fairly picky when it comes to women. To all my friends that are laughing at me right now, just hush. As I've gotten older, it's less about looks and more about how our personalities and our morals mesh. I've seen a lot of relationships end because they were based on looks instead of friendship, and looks fade. Personally, I don't care if your appearance is a 10. If your personality is a 3, you're a 3. Bye, Felicia. I'm fully aware that finding the perfect woman is like finding a full canteen in the Sahara, but I'd rather be single forever than stuck in a relationship with someone I'm dreaming of dropping an anvil on. Now, I also have to admit that part of my motivation for seeking out online dating is the fact that I was tired of being the third, fifth, seventh, ninth, eleventh wheel. I love all of my married friends and I love their relationships. They have real hashtag relationship goals, but it can be really hard sometimes when you're the only single guy in the room. I also realized that I've been romanticizing about the day I meet my wife when in reality it is not gonna happen that way. And it's taken years to deconstruct the various fairy tales in my head, but clearly I still have work to do. How do you guys do it? I mean, I'm genuinely asking. I consider myself a jack of all trades and master of most, but I'm an idiot when it comes to dating in this new era. This is not a test, it's the real deal. Help me. Now I'm only 30, but in my heart of hearts, I am 87 years old on the inside. And it's mentally draining as a natural introvert and someone who came up in the era of cross colors and dial up internet to summon the energy to navigate the Snapchats and the Tinders and whatever else you millennials use. Granted, I'm a millennial too, but still. So if anybody wants to be my dating sensei, I mean, I'm putting it out there if you're interested. And to all the single ladies out there, if you think I'm cute, go ahead and slide them DMs. I'm kidding, don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. Unless you're into it. I don't know what to do, my whole brain is crying! Oh, oh. Guys, 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 guys!